What's up guys, that really gross guy here, and we are back playing Warframe. So, we're in the Gift of the Lotus uh, alert because the dev stream just ended. And, uh, yeah, there's some new things, new things that are interesting coming to Warframe in 2017. They talked about it a little bit. Uh, I think I'm going to do an overall dev stream overview tomorrow. Uh, I tend to do that, kind of show some of the content that DE was talking about on the dev stream as well as some pictures and showing you guys you know what's up what's going down and uh, I'll probably do that have a video ready for tomorrow for you guys but for the most part uh, expect the we've seen it before but expect uh, the to see the frost skin again the the deluxe skin uh, as well as plenty of other things new stuff coming in 2017 um, Pretty interesting, pretty interesting. We're going to talk about a few things that didn't necessarily have pictures tied to it, such as uh, a little bit of information on the Kuva Fortress. And uh, they, didn't, they didn't elaborate too much on it, but uh, they were talking about how the Kuva Fortress doesn't have a real big reason to go back after you've completed all the missions. So we're going to talk about that, maybe uh, talk a little bit about what we might consider to be good things for for the fortress or you know we got some of our own ideas and we can talk about those but anyways uh yeah we're gonna we're gonna knock out this mission fairly quickly we're two or two waves in uh whoops okay well you're dead uh looks like someone's running is it an ember okay well people are shooting past me to get these kills and that's uh unreasonable but uh, yeah, this is my my infested Titania, uh, my my nature infested. I don't know. It's, it's I think it's more infested um, because it's got the little things on her back and whatnot. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna stick with is an infested Titania. Um, we do have our new Nidus frame, which a lot of you guys have seen. So we do have an, a a fully fledged infested frame. That's kind of interesting. Uh, the dev stream also talked about the cyst on your neck, and a little bit beyond just the fact that um, the fact that you can get a spoiler Kubro or not Kubro, but uh, uh, your own. In oh, that's another thing we're going to talk about. But the the new infested companion and where they plan on going with that. So it is um, it is confirmed that the skin we have on the charger or the infested companion is um, is a placeholder so there will be a new design of that uh, they did con say they considered keeping the skin as an alternate uh, as an alternate skin if you want to but I'm excited because of the design of the new the new companion the infested companion. And you'll see that in tomorrow's video. I'll have a picture of a sketch that they drew up or someone drew up of the design. And it's really cool. I think it's really cool. It reminds me of uh, uh, of a couple things. Uh, they, they mentioned the Demigorgon in Stranger Things. Uh, if you haven't seen Stranger Things, if you've played StarCraft, the the, the Mandibles, I think. I don't, I don't know if that's what they call it, but the the... The pieces of their of their jaw that kind of open up. It's kind of cool. Anyways, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll see in a picture tomorrow. Or if you have not caught the dev stream, you could do that as well. So, uh, but my plans are to kind of do a review of or an overview of what happened on the dev stream, as well as talk about a few things. Uh, some things that I think uh, I think would be nice to see, and some things that. Um, that other other people in the community want to see as well, but um, they even they even someone obviously asked. They do it in every uh, dev stream about Umbra, Excalibur, and uh, we we can elaborate on it a little bit more in the next uh, in the next episode when we talk about the overview. But um, they want to do it like like it's a thing. It's a thing. It's it's gonna be a thing. Um, there's there's gonna be lore involved, and that's the hardest part about creating 
new content in the game is tying it to lore and I'm totally cool with that. As obviously, I wish uh, Umbra Excalibur was right around the corner, but it's not. Um, and because they want to tie lore to it, I'm cool with that. And I mean, that just that's just I don't know. That's just how it needs to be. Um, people want content and content and content and content, but it doesn't it doesn't mean a whole lot to get a Warframe and have nothing to do. You know, story-wise, I, 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 you know, I'm craving more story, and a lot of people are craving more story. And honestly, I think the minority of people, no matter what people think, I think the minority of people just want, just want a Warframe and no content. We all want storyline. Um, I've heard, I've heard people talking about Umbra and how it's a scheme. They say that DE is, DE is withholding Umbra so that they can maximize profits and garbage 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 and I'm like as like I'm like you you don't understand how uh, most people don't most people don't but the people that actually are reasonable and have a reasonable mindset will understand that they're not just going to give us content and just hand us over meaningless weapons and content that have nothing no lore tied to it it's just it's not, it's, I don't know, it's not not what DE does, and that's not what any company really should do. Um, I'm, I'm happy we're going to get more lore, and most people are excited for more lore. Um, DE is not trying to, 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 to hold out on Umbra just to, just to make a profit or whatever. I mean, they are a company, they do have to make money, but at the same time, they also you do do you do need to understand that if DE was just to give us everything, they would go out of business and there would be no game. There would the game would stop existing. Not just stop existing, but when a company goes out of business and you have servers that run the game, you do realize that it costs money to run servers and then they'll turn the servers off, which means you have no game anymore. There will not be a Warframe for you to enjoy. You know, so people that are complaining and about profits and this and that, you do need to understand that the company needs money to survive. And uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, def I'm not necessarily defending them in any way because, like I said, I, I, I want, I want this content just as much as you do. But I also don't want to see the game just, just vanish off the the face of the earth. And I definitely do not want to see the the servers be turned off and everything I've worked for the 2,000 plus hours that I have into this game I don't want to see all of that vanish overnight like I'd be I'd be I'd be pissed I would be so pissed so I don't know just keep that in mind um, I don't know like I said I've I even I've gotten to the point where you know, I don't like the grind. Um, granted, I know it's necessary, so therefore I still do it. But the reason why a lot of people get burned out and get sick of the game is because they have to have the newest thing that came out as soon as it comes out, and then they, they, they get in a mindset where they just sit there and play and grind and all this stuff, and then they complain about the grind so if you just chillax you know you do your rounds you don't get everything on day one maybe you slowly grind it out for a week and you get the content you know I think you'll find yourself enjoying Warframe much much more um, I still enjoy Warframe like I said I love Warframe I just avoid the grind when I'm exhausted from the grind you know so I don't know hopefully you guys enjoyed stay tuned for the overview tomorrow um, I think we did good enough. We got our Orkin Catalyst. That was the Death Stream, you know, the, the Gift of the Lotus. But I did no damage. Um, I'm going to go, I'm going to go grind for Necro, or not Necros, uh, Valkyr, maybe. Um, or Kuva, I'm not too sure. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, leave your comments below. I want to know what you think, uh, whether, whether you agree or disagree. I like that ability to 
talk things out and communicate. So I appreciate it. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video or whenever you decide to come back. Until then, next time. Blah, blah, blah. Blah.